Okay, to test our load on load auger and all of the functions of the remote, we have to divert oil from our fan circuit via two remotes to our conveyor or our auger motor. In indicates going to the blower, out diverts it to the load on load auger. That diverts all of our oil to the valve two valves to ensure we have maximum RPM of that motor. Okay, with your 6000 series with a deluxe auger, you want to ensure that all of our functions are working as designed, as well as you want to practice the operation from year to year to ensure that you know how your controls work. It will take a little practice, a few minutes every year to get used to it. I suggest you do this function in an open area of the field. We want to ensure that our motor goes forward and reverse. Forward, detent, reverse. As you notice, the reverse speed is slower than the forward speed. That's very crucial. We do not want our auger motor running very fast in the reverse position. Okay, we have our auger height up and down inner arm swing, outer arm swing, and our forward and reverse for our motor, as well as our transfer fold and unfold. We have a matched set of remote controls at the top of the auger to do those functions up there. So we'll go down, take some weight off the hopper via the pivot, then we can fold up our hopper. It's so advised you stop at the vertical position to ensure that your hopper cleans out properly to avoid dumping fertilizer and other products onto your mechanism. Moving my inner and outer arms in. So we're fully in air arrest. Arms all the way in. Latch mechanism fully engaged. Safety pin installed. 